What can I do? Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. But we've got a small problem. I haven't heard about anyone breaking into the military base yet. So I know you don't have those departure codes. If you want me to help you, you've got to bring something to the table. So until you get those codes, we really don't have much to talk about. Glad to hear it. I'll be waiting right here. The dancing girls. You got some news about Dia or something? Hey, it's like I told you before. You come up with 200 credits, and I'll remove the bounty. Otherwise, she's gonna pay the price. If I let her get away with it, I'll look you... I think it is time you forgave her. You were partly to blame for her behavior. Well, maybe it's time I forgave her. I am partly to blame for what she did, I suppose. Okay, you win. Dia can live. Don't worry. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. What do you want now? This whole thing with Dia is over, so we don't have anything to discuss. I don't want to waste my time answering a bunch of questions. I'm here to have a few drinks, watch the dancing girls, and enjoy myself. I've got to be mentally ready. Davik's got an assignment for me off planet as soon as the quarantine ends. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Fine by me. That means... Shock, 
Coba mulai lagi Teriut orang Ji Hai tapi ya Ulau naji mek Pamule rasli bawang aku bisting Ji berdua nami bobo Tung mabung Shano gang Muci kita lagi Ji ji aku Kaji jonai tau dunga Tau kum jus tak mikir grabil boga Tur pada bungku ya gando dan agak cucut Moga asam pumpah Boyawa najik ni Bamul selimut Oda nawang ga kumbis Muli rabest Rundi hautung ratung Jibe dua nani bobo Tung nabu Aku cikopan again is there something else you need your offer is generous upworlder but the serum is useless to us now the villagers infected with the rat ghoul disease have been quarantined beyond this gate at any moment they could be transformed into terrible monsters nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure the infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder, but if the infected ones have already transformed into Rutgalls, you'll be walking into your grave. Do you... do you have the cure, Upworlder? Have you come to save us from the horrible fate of the others? You... you have a cure? Please, give it to me. Quickly, before it's too late. Quickly, I must inject it before it's too late. Yes, I feel it working. I feel the disease burning away. It's like a miracle. I am cured. Thank you, Upworlder. You have saved us from a fate worse than death. I only wish I had some reward to give you. Maybe you can find something worthwhile in the wreckage of that Republic escape pod. Not long ago, an escape pod crashed in the Undercity, far to the northeast of the village. We were going to try and salvage equipment from it when we were attacked by the rat ghouls and infected. I'd tell you more if I could, but our salvage team never reached the pod. It's probably still there, unless some of the other Upworlders already found it and picked it clean. We should go now, Upworlder. We're anxious to return to the village and see our families again. Thank you once again for everything you have done. <coughs>
You amaze me. I always thought the surface dwellers couldn't care less about us outcasts. But you risked everything to help those infected villagers. I wish I had some type of reward to give you, but we outcasts have nothing. All I can offer is the gratitude of the entire village. Farewell. Hello again. I'm glad you came back. It's kind of... Oh, okay. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to, so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I... I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the Promised Land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Frukil, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! 
God. No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many ghoul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. But the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. On behalf of Gadden, I want to offer the thanks of all the hidden Vex. You rode like a true champion in the swoop race. I'm sorry Gadden can't be here to thank you in person, but he's retired to the safety of his private chambers. I'm afraid he's grieving over Brezhik's death. Even so, I think Gadden hoped that somehow Brezhik could be made to realize the error of his ways. Despite everything he had done, Gadden probably would have forgiven him. Brezhik violated the customs and traditions of Taris. He dishonored himself by refusing to honor his wager. He got what he deserved. Even Gadden has to realize that. Gadden sounds like the kind of person who you'd want in charge down here. At least to me. But he isn't out of danger yet. The surviving Vulkers will still want him dead. He's a prime target now. As are you. You better be careful out on the streets. You. You're the one who won the swoop race. You better be careful out here. Those damn vultures will be looking to get even with you for winning that race and killing Brezhik.
You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang. Kipuna na bon sha, kavadumpa kupalia ya moka pata, kakin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kumbes, chi pala mulek. Tong ki pa na nonek, tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek rabest, uf mala nibo kurk. Mana mana tota, hakuji krala bona ji chok, shuntan, shun ki pa un napanka muli ri kon kili, kon kili no ba, wati munya la kona una kun muli ra. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak ngawa gawa bakon, donk kiba nukunek, tanga buk sha um nak nong. Thank you. 
on it. Damn. What can I do? to break my meditation. You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. You are a fool. This is a new age. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. We are the new order of the galaxy. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you.
Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need, so what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taras. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taras, the better. Billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of 
course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. Candorous, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Callow. You may be the newest cath hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorous has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. A casual fan at best, but everyone on Taurus follows the big season opener. But we have more important issues to discuss now. With a recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Fortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk's security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. <laughs>